Off the website. Wait. Oh, the question is about Allen Robinson. <laughs> but it you thought for, it was coming in from Allen. I Robinson? was well. I was very happy. He wants to know what we think about him. I think he's great, and I have said many times on the show how great he is and how sad I am for his career. The man through through college, through the professionals, get the man a quarterback. It's ridiculous. Well, what's the question? Uh, so Randall in Dallas, Texas, would you take Allen Robinson in the third round as your wide receiver one if you went RB, RB? Nope. Uh, I think. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> look, I, I, I think Allen Robinson is phenomenally talented, but he has a lot of ways that it can go wrong, starting with the quarterback. I mean, you can make the argument he had a poor version of Mitchell Trubisky this year. The offensive line was struggling. They lost tight ends and blockers, and and he still finished as as a wide receiver one. So what you know. What more do you want? And if he finishes as a wide receiver one, you're getting him in the third round. It's good. I understand that argument, and I do believe he is talented enough to repeat. But there are so many ways it could go wrong, starting, of course, with Mitchell Trubisky. The target share numbers that he had when all of those other receiving options were down, um, and it basically just became a two-man receiving core. Uh, that obviously could go away, and you uh, you have to bring up he's got an injury history. And if you look at his career, you know, okay, he broke out with that awesome, you know, wide receiver six finish in 2015, and then spent the next three years of his career pretty much disappointing you until well, this well, season. Well, one of them he would tore his ACL yeah. on the first reception. Well, and that's not good. <laughs> I'm not blaming him. <laughs> I know him. it's not. Well, it sounded like you were. It sounded like you were disappointed in him that he tore his ACL. Oh, I was a little bit. I'm not <laughs> blaming him, but I am disappointed. <laughs> I'm looking at some best ball ADP. These are wide receivers going ahead of Allen Robinson. Let me ask you if you would rather have them okay. as your one. We just talked about him. Cooper Cup. Yes. A.J. Brown. The, the hotness of last year. Uh, yes. I think he'll – That was reluctant. It was reluctant because there's risk there too. I think everybody's all hot and bothered because how awesome he looked towards the end of the season. Right now we don't know who his quarterback is. We don't know if Derrick Henry's back. So there, there's hesitation right now to answer that one. Amari Cooper. I will take Amari Cooper. I know it brings you sadness to hear that, but I would definitely – I Look, if you want to take a running back running back and then Amari Cooper as your wide receiver one, I am fine with that. I do believe that – there was more to him being injured the, the second half when he sucked. Uh, the, you know, in the first half when he dominated, I I uh, I believe that narrative to be not a narrative. But You believe truth. that happened five years in a row? No, but the, his only full season as a Cowboy where we watched that happen, I believe it happened. Fair enough. All right, last one for that because he's going right before Allen Robinson. Cortland Sutton from the Denver Broncos. No, I, I'm not. If you're that early in the draft, you have to take – um, I, I love taking risk later in the draft, but I don't want to project that forward um, in the third round with my first wide receiver. Thank you so much for watching that video. It would make me so happy if you watched more of those videos. So click subscribe, ring that bell, and make your life a little better today.